it was heartbreaking for me to see that women in their 30s, in their 40s, in their 50s had never looked at their vulva, had never really um, tasted their vagina, had never really um, understood themselves sexually, had in some cases never even owned a vibrator. I really want women to to get comfortable with the word slut and for it to just stop being a weapon against us. I try to teach women to honor um, and to take pride in, in their sexuality, the, the amazing wonder that is the clitoris, the amazing wonder that is the G-spot in a way that I don't think they've heard before because there's so much narrative around it that's shame-based. <laughs> So most of my life, I understood myself to be a pervert that, you know, because of my religious upbringing, um, a sinner and a pervert and a sin against God. And that that's a heavy weight to have as a, as a child and as a teenager. And then I freed myself from that. And I got to what I thought was a much higher plateau, which was, this is a birth defect. This is a disability. This, and only recently, having done research into imperialism and colonialism and stuff like that, I've become so enraged because women like me, people like me, have been part of humanity forever. Please don't call us transgendered. We didn't get transgendered. Nobody transgendered us. We were born transgender. We are transgender. As a trans woman, um, I sometimes have a little bit of imposter syndrome leading such a community. And then finally, I just kind of said, <laughs> I just kind of decided somebody has to do this. And so I started doing this work. And what I found, much to my um, incredible happy surprise, is that I was embraced to this role and I'm cared for and I'm not others. <laughs> And it's so great she's building this platform to make women feel more empowered about their bodies. Cassie has curated and created the most beautiful safe space that allows women from all over the world, in the fullest definition of womanhood, to ask for help, to ask for advice, and to share their experiences. Fascinating to see a woman from Dubai or a woman from Pakistan exchanging conversations with a sex worker from Australia and a sexologist from the United States and, and just their minds are being blown wide open. And then I have women who have been in a cloistered marriage for the last 27 years. And when you tell them just some basic ideas like, um, how to do a 69 there they say they've never tried it or and it's a, oh my gosh it's heartbreaking and then we we have conversations about these things so one of the things I teach in smart slots a lot is that a woman should not endure sex sex is something to be enjoyed and celebrated and if you're not enjoying it and celebrating it you should not be doing it not to endure sex is something that's so just completely new to us as women. It is a fundamental part of our experience. It's so important that we honor our sexual experiences because otherwise we're dishonoring ourselves. 